Hi, it's Tamani Friday because I'm late again. Well, it's Friday, so that means it's probably like Thursday at some ungodly hour for the Americans, the American peeps. Yes, I know I have a webcam now, which I just bought, but I'm eating dinner and this is chicken soup, which I made. And the time is like 5.37, so I need to rush off for church stuff again later. And, uh, and apparently my roommate is bringing back her friend, which is also my classmate, but I don't really know her because I haven't talked to her at all. And yeah, so like I can't film later, so I'm just going to film something now. And I know I said last week that I was going to make something better this week because... Um, my exam was last week. I did say that, right? Or was it the week before? I think it was last week. Then 10.50. Yes, that exam. Which turned out to not be really that hard. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, circumstances and like, it turns out I have another test. I have two tests next week. Mini tests, which aren't that big a deal. But still. Uh, life of a dental student. Anyway. Today we did wax carving of incisors so it was like id all over again because we had to cut out like the five aspects of a central incisor which is like basically the front back and two sides and the top view they have proper names for that but i'm not going to confuse you guys by saying them so um yeah we we're supposed to they had this tiny block of wax and then we had to cut it slowly and then we're still not done after three hours of pre-clinic session we're still not done with a single tooth because it's like i finish it and i finish like one step which is like oh cut the corner of the root and all that sort of thing and after that the teacher's like don't do anything else because you will spoil and you will break the wax and then i don't have any spares and then you will lose every opportunity you have to carve and if you think i'm being over dramatic that is really what she says almost with as much drama and tone and then the thing is that in clinic and pre-clinic any injury you have has to be reported to one of the teachers or the instructors so guess who is the fir the first person in the class of batch 2019 to get a sharps injury that's right me uh so I was slowly carving and all of a sudden, whoops, there goes the tip of the ash number five, slides right across my finger. Oh, look. And I stared at it and I thought like, okay, please don't bleed. If it bleeds, I need to like tell somebody. And then like, whoops, there go, there we go. A little drop of blood. Ah, damn it. Yeah. And then I was just like, oh no, I think I cut myself. And then the guy, uh, the dentist who was in charge of our role just turned around and looked at me and he was like are you serious and then he looked at it he was like okay yeah it does look like an injury okay but it's very small just go to the front to get a band-aid and then he was and then i was like yeah but i know i know it's small but i said but i thought we were supposed to uh report every little injury and then he just looked at me he was like yeah you do and he just like sighed and like and then everyone around me was like panicking, like, oh my goodness, you cut yourself, oh my goodness, I didn't know the thing was so sharp. Are you okay? Are you going to die? I'm like, no, it's just a tiny little cut with like three drops of blood on it. Yeah. So, about the girl who's coming over to stay tonight, I don't really know what my roommate's doing. That Well, it's Friday night, I guess she'll be doing stuff because she has a life. Um... There are three Ellie's in our class. One's apparently spelled like A-L-L-Y and the other two are literally E-L-L-I-E's. So it's like, it's almost like one twelve and two twelve again with the three Amanda's and the three Stephanie's. Almost. There's two Ellen's and like both spelled A-L-A-N. And there's like a whole bunch of people who are on the school, on the class roster but aren't actually in our class because one guy dropped out and... One of them never came to school because he went to the UK. Oh yeah, speaking of classes and stuff, although this isn't really related. As part of communications, but we're learning how to deal with kids now in the clinic. Uh, their example was from the UCLA dental faculty, where they got a bunch of year threes to pretend to be terrible children and their equally terrible parents. And then like 
act out scenarios and it was super duper funny and like every single person in the video was Asian um don't really know what that means if that's like an international thing it's like every single dentist is Asian at this rate well most I know like one seventh of my class is not Asian that's a lot I guess yeah, okay, that brings me to the end of my video and let me finish the rest of my soup so I can rush off. See you guys!